Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, <laughs> my name is John Kamen, North Hampshire Town Supervisor, and I'm here, of course, with our uh, U.S. Senator, Senator Gillibrand. And I'd like to acknowledge our Senator and thank her for Ooh, coming today. Uh, thank you. Here goes my, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I say thank you. Thank you. Um, and we're here today because these are times that call for leadership. Uh, we understand that in today's economy, uh, we can't just watch and wait and hope that things work themselves out. We understand on the national level that leadership counts and that our President and our U.S. Senate and our Congress uh, are stepping forward to help us do the things that we do best at the local government, and that's put people to work, clean our environment, make communities better. But we can't do that without the support and resources that our federal government has to offer. Sometimes it takes an investment in people and communities to help pull ourselves out of the malaise that we've been through and been in over the years, these last couple of years. We are standing here at a sewage treatment plant. It's not the sexiest of topics. It's not the type of thing that a lot of people want to talk about or actually stand in front of. <laughs> <laughs> no order, though. Yeah. Uh, but it's a place that makes a difference in a community. It's the infrastructure. It's the very heart and soul of a community uh, is the general infrastructure that helps make community work. Uh, and we, of course, we talk about schools as one of the major uh, uh, connections that we have to a community. But it's water. It's garbage. Uh, it's sewage. How do we make our community work at the very basic level? And if sewage doesn't work, uh, then the community doesn't work. And in a community like Great Neck, with 40,000 people living on this peninsula, all in need of government support, uh, of the government uh, to step forward and resolve problems when it comes to infrastructure, we are here recognizing that this sewage treatment plant does represent our future. According to the New York State Department of Health and Environmental Conservation, New York will need at least $75 billion over the next 20 years for repair, replacement, and updating aging drinking water and, w and wastewater infrastructure. So we want to make sure that our taxpayers here on Long Island and our taxpayers all across New York are not stuck footing the bill. Now here in Great Neck, we have shovel-ready priority water infrastructure projects waiting for federal investment. The Great Neck Water Pollution Control District serves as a coastal community of nearly 25,000 on the shores of Long Island Sound. Here we have a consolidation upgrade project that will create 480 jobs. So the legislation um, will authorize about $14 billion in drinking water state revolving funds over the next five years. And the current authorization that expired in 2003 was authorized to only a billion dollars. So we are making progress in actually showing how important this kind of infrastructure money matters. Uh, let me uh, first uh, say thank you to the senator. Uh, she is very modest by saying she's on a key committee. She has a thumb on the pulse of everything that needs to be done here with this project in our community. And I'm happy to say uh, that she knows about it, she understands about it. Uh, she is already uh, in the harness fighting to bring back federal dollars and our taxpayers to the Great Neck uh, Water Control District. Good government is a process and it couldn't be, it couldn't work out unless we have a process and I think the process was very important because at the end of the day we will get what the people wanted which is an environmentally sensitive <coughs> it, sewer. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a little expensive but you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. And I thank all of our stakeholders. You're a stakeholder now, I hate to say it. You're a stakeholder. I'm with and you. our congressman, you're going to help us. And I will do everything I can at the state level. And we're going to be reaching out to the county to get the money so with the burden of doing the right thing doesn't fall on our taxpayers. That it's going to be a shared responsibility, which it always should be in government. And I thank, I'm just so excited. And John, it works. Yeah. Thank you.